All right, let's slow her down. Compress the bottom real well because you sure don't want any problemas. So, let's take, well, let's see if I can find a rib that I want. Oh, this one will work. I told you this is my favorite one right here. It's it has the curve that I like on oh, that goes all the way up here for like a bowl, and if you just need to jam it down in the bottom of something to round out the bottom, it's perfect, and you got plenty to hang on to up here. So I'm just gonna compress that. Good, all right. Come on. So right at the beginning when I'm pulling a cylinder, I'm basically just getting the wall evened out like the same thickness from wherever I'm going to start the wall to the top. And it's probably at least half an inch thick all the way down to probably when it gets to about here, it starts to get a little wider because on the inside it's just kind of going in. And... Compressing the bottom. I don't want water to collect down there. I hate it when I get a crack in a teapot because that is just never good. Because if it's in the bottom, there's just not a lot you can do about it because you'll always be afraid the thing is going to start leaking. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of, you know, oh, kind of a ridge or a little clump of clay right up here because I'm going to do a gallery. So I'm just going to mark it right there just to remind myself not to go too far on this. And I've got the wheel going about medium, I suppose, if you had to put a name to it. I did slow it down. For When you center, you should always have the wheel going full speed or pretty fast. Huh. When, you're, when you're forming it and pulling the walls up, unless you want your walls to lay down flat, you need to slow your wheel down because centrifugal force takes over and there it goes. Don't want that. Okay. Now, let's slow it down some more. And I'm going to use my favorite rib. And I'm going to try real hard not to mess this up. I just want to belly it out. I wish I, I think I'm going to put this on the inside and put. this one on the outside. This is another one of my favorite uh, shapes because I can 
shape the outside of something if I'm having trouble with it. I'll get the bottom here. And this is why I hate to not throw something every day because you're, you're, it's really, you know, the first few things you do after you get back to it, well, I should say, speak for myself, the first few things I do after I get back to it seem to not turn out so well. So, if you're taking bets, <laughs> this would be the one to bet on as a fail video. We'll see. Okay, so I got that kind of rounded, and I like the shape of the bottom part of it. Now I'm going to fix the top. How do you like that? Get that wet on the inside, and then... So this I can deal with down here in a few minutes, but I'm concerned about this part for right now. All right, now, I want to make sure this is even, like, thickness-wise, and then Now, <laughs> now, let's just Now I'm making an external gallery, so I'm going to flip it to the inside as soon as I get it made. But this, I don't know, sometimes this kind of gives you more control over what's going on. And it's a different way of making a gallery. So... Okay. 
Okay, let's see if we can It's on its way over. So you just flip the little baby over like that. And then you can sponge the stuff and make sure that it's the shape you want. I like galleries on teapots because I like for there to be a decent seal when brewing tea. I'm sort of a tea aficionado and pull that shoulder up just a tad. And so I know how to brew tea and I, I know a thing or two about teapots. I don't know everything about teapots, but I know what I like, and that counts, right? And I know good tea, and I know well-brewed tea. I don't mess it up with anything added to it. I just kind of like it like it comes. Let's see, I'm just gonna get two fingers in here. I'm trying to make it global shaped. Um, I don't necessarily want, how am I gonna get that? Little thing on there. I don't want it to be taller than it is wide or anything. I just want it to be kind of round. Now, this is where my favorite shape, uh, this is where this corner comes in handy because I'm going to use that to define this gallery just a little more. So I want there to be more of a, just a crease right there, a definition. This part is very important to me because I like for my lids to sit without rattling and for them to fit nicely uh, you really have to measure and you have to have a place to measure from and there we go okay so let's clean out the inside Okay, so now let's take care of this bottom part. We're going to 